Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 10 to 1 in the afternoon of Monday the 22nd of November. I have got a hangover. I am currently reading House of Trades by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, which I am enjoying. Probably a 4 out of 5 so far. 170 odd pages to go. So I'll finish that in the next couple of days and then I'm going to move on to the next Wizard of Oz book for my buddy reads with Joel. I'm Joel Swagman here on YouTube. So that's, that's where we're at. Dane reads. Hello, it is half past one on Tuesday the 23rd of November. I've got a bit of the old two day hangover going, I've got, not going to lie. Um, but I had a very, very productive day yesterday. Um, I've actually basically got to the point where all of my work is done, which is kind of alarming. I'm not really used to being in this situation. Um, to be fair, so I mean, all of my filming is pretty much up to date. Um, and I've done as much editing as I can, bearing in mind that I do other stuff while I'm editing, so once I run out of other stuff to do, I stop editing, um, which is fine, you know, I'm currently exporting a review of Across the River and Into the Trees, or whatever it was called, by Ernest Hemingway. Um, so I've got my vlog to do, I've got my June review to finish off, and then I've got a wrap up June, um, and then next up I will be picking up whatever it is, The Road to Oz, I think, yeah, The Road to Oz. Um, so that's very exciting um, and as I say I've done all my time stuff so done all my art center stuff for once as well although there is a meeting tomorrow which I have to go to um, and then I have a few writingy bits but uh, the same with like editing I do stuff while I'm doing the untimed writing bits which is normally like catching up on my YouTube playlist and answering emails and stuff like that but when I'm all caught up on that it's like well what else do I do um, so I have actually been recently going through uh, my last FM account, which is a music website which like tracks all the music you listen to. Um, and so I'm going through all of my music, my all time music I've listened to, and going through and finding YouTube channels for as many of the bands that I like as possible. Um, so that's very exciting. So I can kind of keep doing that and finding more YouTube channels. I think once I've done my last FM, I'm going to go through all of my book reviews and see how many of the authors I can find. And then I don't know after that. Maybe TV shows, but I don't really watch TV shows. I don't know, is there any way to view everything you've ever watched on Netflix or something? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that, look at my Netflix viewing history and do that as well. So that kind of gives me some extra stuff I can do while I'm working. I can go and find all these YouTube channels to subscribe to. And then what I tend to do as well is I go through them and look at all the old videos that I want to add to my watch later. But my watch later is currently at 5,000, which is the limit at the moment. So I can't do that for any more. Been total random update today, isn't it? Um, I got some baubles in the post for my Christmas tree, so probably a, a later thing I'm going to do will be to decorate my house with the Christmas decorations. It's kind of early for that, so I'm just going to put those off until I've done all the other bits. I also want to measure out, you can't really see it, but basically, you see this red thing? This is like the pillow for the sofa bed. So I want to measure out how big that is, um, and then I want to go and try and find some fabric in town um, that I can buy to basically wrap the sofa bed and um, kind of reupholster it basically. I might even varnish the wood, we will see. I do have some varnish that came in the post, so I need to try that out. I'm gonna try that out on one of my outside chairs and see how it goes. I think the issue is I got some varnish before and it was just like a clear varnish. So I need like a mahogany varnish that's gonna darken it and kind of stain the wood. So we'll see, see how that goes, yeah. So I think that's all I got to update you on anyway. And I'm losing my voice because reasons. Yo, yo, yo. It is 9.30 p.m. on Thursday the 25th of November. I am very tired. Um, it's been a bit of a nappy day to be honest. Um, but yeah, I've been cracking on with work, doing some housework, doing some computer stuff, all of the usual good stuff. Um, so I finished reading The Road to Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, I was probably still reading June last time, actually. Anyway, um, House of Trades by um, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. That got a 4 out of 5. Um, this one, The Road to Oz, only got a 3.5 out of 5. I just don't think it was as good as the other Oz books that I've read. It's starting to feel a little bit formulaic now, to be honest. Um, and all the time I was just wondering, like, why isn't Ozma just using the belt to summon them? But that's the problem. Once you've got, um, like, this all-powerful magic device, it kind of then takes away from the storyline um, 
But yeah, I, I am still looking forward to getting to the next one, just not as much. This has by far been the weakest entry, at least in my opinion, to the series. And I guess it doesn't bode well for the continuance of it, but hopefully it gets better again. Um, and then I've moved on to five plays by Anton Chekhov. So I've read Ivanov, which is four out of five. The Seagull, 3.5 out of five. And I'm currently reading Uncle Vanya, which is only a 3.5 out of five, which is kind of a shame because that's the only one of the titles that I'm like familiar with from pop culture and whatnot. Um, but they are very beautifully written and they do what Shakespeare does, which is they like span all of the emo emotions of the human experience. Um, so overall, this is heading for a four out of five for the whole collection. Um, the introductory essay was a bit dry, so um, but I read that as a bedtime book anyway. So, but yeah, I'm getting through it. I'm doing pretty good. I have a shot in the dark by Lynn Trust to read next, um, but I also have a crap ton of Mister Men books. So, um, I mean, they take, they're not very long to read at all. So I'll, I'll probably basically read one of those books each time I sit down to do some reading and read those over the next few weeks. I'm also going to Tamworth next week to visit my mum and I traditionally take a long book with me when I go travelling. So I don't know, I've got a few long looking James Herberts up there. I've got uh, Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien, that looks pretty long. East of Eden, John Steinbeck. A couple of Bill Brysons, but they might even be bedtime books, I'm not sure. I am feeling at the moment like I'm gonna take that Tolkien and tick that off, so we will see. But um, yeah, because I spend a lot of time traveling, it just means I have a lot of time reading. So um, yeah, Uncle Dave's gonna look after you next week, isn't he, Biggie? Yes. Yes, he is. Oh, and we reupholstered the sofa, didn't we, Biggs? So we've reupholstered the Biggie sofa, uh, which I'm quite happy with, it looks good. I'm tired. Hello, it is I. It is quarter past ten on the evening of Friday the 26th of November. There was a film premiere slash screening at the Arts Centre earlier, but I didn't go to it because I have been very busy working. I've been working on a book based on, like, my granddad has been posting his memories on this Facebook group. So I've been helping him to turn that into a book, which has been quite fun. Um, just watching a bit of YouTube, catching up with that. I watched Grease earlier. Um, because my friend Sabrina is doing props for a production of it at her school. So um, I thought I'd watch it so I can kind of understand what she's talking about. And plus I feel as it's pretty bad that I'm 32 and I've never seen Grease. Um, had some posts today, that was nice. I've been doing a bit of housework. I'm hopefully going to see my mum in Tamworth next week. But we might have to see because she's been pinged because of uh, the COVID app. Uh, she thinks she was on holiday and she thinks somebody on her flight home must have had it um but she's done a few tests and she's okay so far so she's going to do another test soon to see see what that comes up um i'm still reading five plays by anton chekhov i've also been reading a load of mr men books these are all between 3.5 and 4 out of 5 so i've read mr topsy turvy all of these by roger hargreaves little miss sunshine mr rude mr grumble um, plus multiple more. I've also read uh, A Christmas Carol, Little Miss Shy, Little Miss Christmas, The Night Before Christmas, Mr. Rush, Mr. Clumsy, and Mr. Cool. Uh, plenty more as well. I'm just working my way through all these ones that I won as a job lot from eBay basically. Um, so I'll update you on some more of those tomorrow. My goal is to try and finish off all the ones I've got by Monday for when I go and visit my mum, assuming that goes ahead, but I hope it does. Um, I'm gonna paint the radiator in my bathroom this evening, I think. Um, give that a little lick of paint because it needs doing. Um, and I had another job as well, and I can't remember what it was. What was it? Oh, I have a little pot of tester paint because I'm going to see the bits in the top of the room. I'm going to paint those red, I think. Um, so I've got a little pot of tester paint to do a little bit up there behind the curtain. So if it does go wrong, it won't be super visible. And if it works, I can buy a full part of that paint. And then, as I say, do that when I get back from Tamworth, I suppose. So those are my big jobs. I've got to water my plants as well. I've got a bit of exercise to do. got to have a shower. And then after that, it is Christmas decorations time. So I want to kind of put those up this weekend so that they're then done for when I get back from Tamworth. So it's one less job to do, you know? So that's where we're at and I'm now off to go and do some editing. Hello, it is me. Um, I'm in a bit of a bad mood today for reasons. It's just art center stuff, man. I've been working all weekend on them again. 
and then I found out that something I spent an hour and a half doing yesterday it was for an event I got an email on Friday saying this needs to go on sale on Monday so I spent most of my evening yesterday doing it and then I got an email today being like oh yeah sorry no we gave you they gave the wrong dates so um, this is now no longer happening so the event isn't happening so all the work I did setting it up was just a waste of time so that's fun so now I have to spend some of my evening today undoing all of that stuff that I did so that it doesn't uh, go live <sighs> on the plus side I've taken out my Christmas stuff that's that pile over there so I'm gonna do some Christmas decorations at some point I feel like getting drunk to be honest so I might get drunk this evening um, I don't really have any friends so my options I could go to the comedy show at the art center but a I don't want to I'll just be annoyed if I go to the art center and B it's expensive uh, so yeah so I mean there is some live music happening which I might go to check out see if anybody's around um, or I might just get some beers and just get drunk at my house and do the Christmas decorations I did find a paintbrush though which is good because I need one of these because um, I want to paint my radiator in the bathroom so now I have the paintbrush I can do that um, which I was going to put off so I might paint the the thing tonight um, I also want, I've got some doors I want to paint as well but I could probably use the same brush paint the radiator tonight paint the doors tomorrow um, what else is new I am still reading five plays by Anton Chekhov and I've also read another bundle of the Mr. Men books so I've read Mr. Silly Mr. Happy Mr. Slow Little Miss Wise Little Miss Naughty Mr. Nobody Mr. Mischief, jeez I'm running out of space here, Mr. Perfect, Little Miss Naughty and the Good Fairy, Little Miss Giggles and Little Miss Stubborn. So those are all between 3.5 and 4 out of 5. So that's good and that means now all the only ones I have left to read I have this stack here and there's a bit of tree that has come out. I think my tree's seen better days. Yeah it looks a bit dead. I think it is a bit dead we'll probably just get rid of that but um yeah that's where i'm at i've been watching the june movie i i don't i i've read um or i've seen some people talking about the new, new june movie saying that they can't see how they can go and do the whole series with it because i think they've just made too many changes i haven't really enjoyed the movie in general to be honest it's been okay um it's very nicely shot and put together and stuff it's just also the first june book wasn't one of my favorite books anyway so it was the first june book was okay and then the series i think took off books two to four really and then i enjoyed the prelude that i've read so far but anyway i'm watching that um i've been watching uh friends as like my bedtime thing to watch for about six to eight months because there were a lot of episodes um and i finally finished watching through all of those yesterday so now i've got the friends reunion to watch as well and i can tick that off watch a bit of adam's family i've been watching some foxes afloat on youtube as well um and just generally being productive so now I'm gonna go off and do some more editing and shit I think we'll see Guten Tag, Willkommen and Bonjour um, it is currently about 4 p.m. Um, on Sunday the 28th of November we are forecast some light rain um, well sorry we were forecast some snow and it's changed to light rain we will see it's been snowing up by my mum's place she's had the all clear on her covid test which means i'm okay to go and see her next week so that's good should we pop the light on to uh make me a little bit wa less washed out and uh yes yeah, so i have just been cracking on and being productive i wanted to go out yesterday but i have no friends <laughs> um my one friend like i probably would have gone out with sabrina if she was around but she was working on a uh, production of greece at her the school she works at um so she's now very excited because that's now all done um although she is at chris Dingle today and then as of next week they're starting rehearsals on matilda so she's going to be keeping pretty busy um, so yeah, I had like two beers and then just went to bed at 9 p.m. and slept through till about 1 p.m. today Because uh, I was having that kind of day a bit feeling a bit down and stuff, you know um, But yeah off to visit my mum tomorrow There is the Sunday jam about to start right now at the art center, but I'm not going to that because I have too much to do I made a cooked breakfast earlier. I've started my Christmas decorations Because I ideally want those to be done by the time I leave tomorrow so that they're all up and ready when I get back, you know um, 
what else is new? Um, I have some other jobs to do. I mean, I've um, been doing my cooking, so now I've got to do some cleaning in the kitchen. Um, I've got a radiator to paint as well, um, which I want to do today. Other than that, that's actually most of the stuff done. I also need to pack and plan for my, my time away. Um, and obviously I'm still doing work as well because I am me and I never stop working and it's exhausting to be honest, but hey ho. Um, maybe I'll get some better work-life balance in the new year, I don't know. I'm still not sure whether I'm going to be able to keep working at the art centre because th that's, that's what throws it all out of whack. If I wasn't working there, I'd have time. And in fact, I basically haven't written any books since I started working there about 18 months ago. Um, I've released books because I've released books that I'd already written, so I had time to edit them and stuff, but I haven't really been writing new stuff. I've finished reading uh, Five Plays by Anton Chekhov. We're going to go over to the sofa. This is where I sit and when I'm doing my reading. So I finished reading Five Plays by Anton Chekhov. Um, so I think last time, uh, Uncle Vanya, I finished that 3.5 out of 5. In fact, the remainder were all 3.5 out of 5. Three Sisters and the Cherry Orchard. Uh, so Ivanov was my favourite of the lot. I would still give it a week 4 out of 5 as an overall collection, mainly on the strength of Ivanov. But I am glad that I read that. Um, I'm now reading A Shot in the Dark by Lynn Truss, which is a murder mystery set in Brighton in the 1950s. Um, I think it owes a lot to um, uh, Brighton Rock by Graham Greene, and Graham Greene is one of my favourite authors, although that's not necessarily my favourite of his books. Um, but we will see. It's meant to be quite funny as well, so um, fingers crossed. And then I think I'm going to take with me when I travel, I'm going to take Lost Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, and maybe I've got a Michael Crichton up there, so I might take that in case I finish the Tolkien. Um, and then sooner or later I'm going to read House Harkonnen by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, because I enjoyed House of Trades. And I've read a bunch more of the Mr. Men books, um, so I've, I'm just going to go through them all again. 3.5 out of 5 for all of them. Little Miss Lucky. Little Miss Fun. Mr. Christmas. I'm actually going to give this a 3 out of 5. Uh, the reason being... It broke with tradition and was written in first person for some reason. And none of the others were, so it kind of bothered me. Uh, Mr. Grumpy. Little Miss Scary. Mr. Birthday. Little Miss Trouble. Mr. Small, A Big Day Out. Mr. Mean. Little Miss Trouble and the Mermaid. Little Miss Brainy. Mr. Worry, Mr. Messy, Mr. Bump and the Knight. I'll give this a four out of five because I like Mr. Bump. I like knights and I like the pun of like bump in the night as well. Mr. Jelly and the Pirates, Little Miss Birthday, Mr. Snow, and Little Miss Late. Appropriately enough, coming in last there. That was unintentional. Biggie. Come and say hello if you want to be in the vlog then. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to go and do some editing and some more work and stuff now. And just crack on with being productive and trying to get the house ship shape ready for when I head to see my mother. So that seems like a good place to leave you guys. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.